Hi guys and girls, Miss Vaselli here with your next math flip lesson of the week. This week we've been talking a lot about factors and multiples, and yesterday you found the multiples of a number by using number bonds. Well today, you're going to continue finding multiples of a number, but you're going to be using the strategy of finding multiples of a number using a table. Let's get started. Our guiding question of today is, how do you find the multiples of a number? For example, find the first six multiples of eight. In this lesson, you are going to figure out multiples of a number by using a table. Let's review. A multiple is the product of multiplying a factor times a factor. Two times three equals six. Two and three are my factors, and six is my product. Six is also a multiple. Six is a multiple of two. When I count by twos, six is my third multiple. Two, four, six. Six is also a multiple of three. When I count by threes, six is my second multiple. A common mistake that many students make. When finding multiples of a number, don't stop after finding the first one or two multiples. Make sure you find more than two or you find however many multiples the problem is asking you to find. So, we're going to find the first six multiples of seven using a table. Here, you can see that in my first row of my table is the multiplication step I'm going to take in order to find my multiples. My multiples are the result of those multiplication problems. And then, I will list the multiples as a number sequence. Let's get started. One times seven is seven. Seven, when listing the first six multiples of seven, is my first multiple. Then, my multiplication table up here, my next two factors are going to be two times seven. And my product, and next multiple, is 14. I'm going to continue doing this until I find the first six multiples of seven. And there they are. My first one is seven. My second multiple is 14. My third multiple is 21. My fourth multiple is 28. My fifth multiple is 35. And my sixth multiple is 42. So as a number sequence, I would write it this way. Seven, 14, 21, 28, 35, and 42. And notice, that I have a comma in between each of these numbers to show that they are numbers in a list or in a sequence. And then I use my ellipsis to show my reader that this number sequence could go on and on and on. Let's take a look at another example. Find the first six multiples of eight. There's my table again. And of course, I'm starting with one times eight, and that will give me the multiple or product of eight. Then I go to two times eight and I get 16. And I continue this pattern until I get my first six multiples of eight. One times eight is eight, two times eight is 16, three times eight is 24, four times eight is 32, five times eight is 40, and six times eight is 48. And then as a number sequence, I would write it this way. Eight, 16, 24, 32, 40, and 48. Notice again that each of these numbers have commas in between them to show that this is a list of numbers and then an ellipsis at the end to show that this number sequence could go on and on. In this lesson, you've learned how to find the multiples of a number by using a table. Let's take a look at some guided practice. Use a table to find the first six multiples of nine. Let's take a climate check. Now that you've had a chance to solve a problem on your own, how do you feel? 